Hey, folks, how are you? Before you, I'm going to make it. All this talk of the president about corruption comes from the most corrupt president we've had in modern history. He's the definition of corruption. He's corrupted the agencies of government from the Defense Department, from the State Department, from the Justice Department, all about making sure that he, in fact, allows somebody else to pick his opponent for him. That's what this is about. And I am not going to stand for it. And I'm not going to respond to it. I'm not going to talk about anything other than what the facts are. He's indicted himself by his own statements. This is not about me. It's not about my son. There's not a shred of evidence. There's anything done that's been wrong. How much time in the Senate? The Senate is where there would be a... You know, I said from the beginning, the constitutional process, notwithstanding what he calls it, he calls the impeachment proceeding a coup. A coup. He talks about how we should handle whistleblowers. He talks about there will be a civil war. This is the guy that's unhinged. He is unhinged. I worry about what he's going to do, not about me or my family. I worry about what he'll do in the next year in the presidency as this thing continues to rot on his watch. You're, you're saying that you're only going to talk about the facts, right? I am not going to speculate what I would do in the Senate. I'm a former vice president. I know what occurred in Ukraine. I know what occurred in terms of China. I know what occurred in terms of Russia. This is a president trying to get three of our most two of our most serious competitors and not allies to decide this election, decide who he runs against. This guy, like all bullies, is a coward. He does not want to run against me. That's what this is about. Um, you know, right now you're talking about this. It's not a conflict of interest. There's been no indication of any conflict of interest from Ukraine or anywhere else. Period. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna respond to that. Let's focus on the problem. Focus on this man, what he's doing that no president has ever done. No president. How do you prevent this though from being The irony of all ironies is you press people are doing your job. You're pointing out when he's flat lying, where there is no evidence, none, not a scintilla, not one little tiny piece. The American people know me and they know him. They know even the people who support him know this man lacks character. Even the people who support him know he lies constantly. So look, I'm not worried about what, here's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that he gets so unhinged of the year left to go in this administration, he does something really, really, really stupid in terms of our international interest. I don't mean about our election. That's already, he's, he's basically acknowledged he's tried to get people to interfere in our election. Let other people decide who the candidate was going to be. But the fact of the matter is, I worry, and you do too in your heart. The fact of the matter is, you know, you wonder what this guy's going to do. Have you ever seen a rhetorical question, a president ever so unhinged as this guy is? That's what worries me. Let the House focus on what they're focusing on in the Senate, and I'm going to go out and I'm going to beat him on the merits. Thank you.